Wow. No. If there was a man named God, I don't think another man should tell you about the man that named God. I think you, every individual, should know God of themselves. Try that. Every individual should know God of themselves. And another man should not have to teach you about God. So do you think there's a man named God existed? Because down the pensation of time, man have been teaching other man about God. Especially the European man. So what do you think? Black man, why do you need to learn about God? God is not a thing you, or is not a person that you learn about. Do you think so? Because God will be in every individual because the way the story goes, I am part of God. So I must see God within myself. All the other individuals see God within themselves. So you would have to teach the other person about God. But when you were born, you didn't know about God of yourself. And if, when you grow up, if somebody didn't tell you about God, you would not know about a man named God. You just keep on going. So how comes when you were born, you didn't know about God until someone tell you about God? Just think about it. If you take 20 people and put on a desert land where there is nobody speak English or no language whatsoever and they have all the green grass and all of the fruits and the flowers, whatever is there, they don't hear a radio, they will not know about any God. They will either dance to themselves or dance to the flowers. You can't understand what I'm saying. Those people that they find discover onto the islands of India. Those people don't talk about God. They don't know about no God. They live in the forest. And they make their own fire and they find their own food. Nobody taught them anything. That's the example I'm giving you. And they've been there for years and years and years. And nobody didn't know until they discover them. And now they're trying to make those people filthy. They're giving them cigarettes. They're giving them alcohol. And they want to have sex with them. Black pretty ladies. Beautiful. Never been defiled. They start to give them clothing. Lipstick. All type of garbage. So they're trying to change their ways of how they live. They're not civilized. That's the word they're using. But well, look, you don't think that's a mess? Why couldn't you pause them by and let them be the way they are? You want to give them some God and give them some church and all that shit. Change their way.
So they have to be under the footstool of God. And they didn't know about any God. So you see what I'm saying? People are doing all type of crazy shit. Straight up. You can't do this, you can't do that because God is going to punish you on all of that. God made you, right? So if he made you and you mess up against him, just think about it. <coughs> you have no power over yourself because you have not made yourself. You are here to do what you have to do. If you have to be a killer, that's what you got to do. If you got to be a garbage man, that's what you got to do. You got to be a fisherman. If you got to be homeless, that's what's got to be done. You cannot change what is there. But because you have not made yourself. And the other person have not made themselves. It's like the animal. They have not made themselves. So they are under the authority of nature. They go and eat the green grass, drink the water, have their babies, sleep, have their babies, sleep, eat, drink. That's all they do. You don't see them bowing down and praying. Or if they pray, you do not know what they pray to. And you do not know when they pray. Because praying is a form of begging. You're begging someone you don't know. Isn't it so? You're asking for something. That means you're begging. So, but you do it in a different way. You kneel down. Are you stand up with your hand open out? With your eyes closed or your eyes open? So you're begging. <coughs> you don't need to do that. So by we don't overstand nature, we think there's a better way out. There is no better way out, brother man. You find your way in nature and you work on it. Once you can work on it, you get stuck. And some people can find a way in nature and they get stuck. All you need in nature is a piece of land. Because one man take all the land and call himself government and he's not sharing up the land. So now you get stuck. Also the bees get stuck. They can't roam the land anymore. They get stuck. Man put them in, in, in cages now. So they, they cannot roam the place and find green pasture. Huh? You can't overstand what I'm saying. So, so you're not going to overstand. You know why? We stayed fast in this lifestyle for too long. Trust me. We stayed fast in this lifestyle for too long. Men want to have sex with man, sexual intercourse. Women want to have sexual intercourse with women. Women don't want to have babies no more. So you tell me what's going to happen. Women want to smoke jobs. Men want to smoke jobs. So tell me what you think is going to happen. 
government is taking up all these people that are smoking drugs, putting them in hotels, paying their rent, paying their light bill, paying their gas bill. Some of them doesn't want it. No, they don't want it. They got to follow rules and they don't want any rules. They want to be free like the bird. Woo! Fly around like the bird. I smoke when I want and I come when I want and I go when I want. I don't have to clean up. I don't have to bathe up. I don't have to wash up. I don't have to paint any house. I don't have to mow any lawn. No. But you see how small these people are? They're not going into the desert land. No, they want to be in the city. They want to be scavenger in the city. So the government becomes a sympathy for them. But if the government were taking up all these people and the crazy one go to the crazy house, and the smokers clean up and come back out again and put a law down. It'd be a, a big punishment if they go back to smoke again. No. They just clean them up for a few months and they get out there and they smoke again. And they get contaminated they bring them back in again, they clean them up, and they get contaminated again, and that just keep on going. It's a cycle. So the government not really doing anything for the people. Because the people can't do nothing for themselves. They leave the woman leaving the baby in the toilet, in bathrooms, in McDonald's and all these places. And they get away with all that shit. I know of that from in Jamaica. What ladies do with their babies. I'm not trying to tell you something that I don't know. This is for real. Members of my father's church. Members of the Catholic Church. They leave the babies on the cellars. I'm not guessing. Go to my village that can show you all these Catholic Church what took place there. Priests have sex with all these none. None get pregnant. None don't know where to go and do abortion. Some of them doesn't know, some know. And that's all I'm saying, black man. We gotta get out there and start telling people the real thing. So they can wake up from north, south, east, and west. And all them leaders in Africa that not taking care of their people. It's just a shame. Fighting among yourself, killing each other. The white man is just laughing. Ain't that a bitch? The white man is just laughing. How these black people are killing themselves for no reason. When the white man going to Africa, just gave them the land. <clears throat> and your people don't have the land to plant the grains for the family. If you don't think it's a mess, send me an email or give me the thumb up. Respect, brother man. I'm out of here. Just talking from myself, just talking from myself. <laughs>